Hey, it's Red Lace, and I'm playing Starbound Spirited Draft on the PC, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own signs with Easel. Easel is the design kiosk at the outpost. So Easel is the elegantly automatic sign engineering lithographer, and here you can see you can make your own sign boards for labeling items. And so you can change the backing of the sign, which is the background, and uh, there's a few presets you can choose between to match whatever style you'll be placing the sign in. There's also the color selector, which is the color of the text or whatever you'll be drawing on the sign. So I'm going to choose a light purple, and then I'm going to change the background of the sign to a dark black. So you can also do a couple other things. You can choose if your sign's going to be wired or not, so you can light it up if it's active or non-activated. So these are the two wiring tools. The left one, if it has an X like mine does, it is turned off for wiring, and if I turn it on, it gets a red check mark, and now it's turned on for wiring, and the button I'm on right now will actually determine what color the light is that it'll give off. But I don't want it wired, so I'm going to turn it off. This is the color selector tool, which you can use to choose a color you've already used to use it again, or the paint bucket tool will allow you to fill in a color that you want to change. If you click on the edge of the sign, you can change the frame colors. It's also a bunch of presets, which will help you decide what matches your current style that you're going to be placing the sign in. And then there is the actual drawing of the sign. So I like to use these to label things like chess uh, and areas. So to draw on the sign, you're going to hold down the left mouse button. And you are drawing in pixels, so everything is square, just like the game. And uh, I like to do letters that are three wide. And if you mess up like that, you can right click to erase. So if you do letter three wide, it gives you enough space to draw your whole alphabet. So these arrows on the side will actually let you line stuff up from uh, the top and the bottom, so if it's not centered, you can center your text. And then when you're finished, you hit print. So if we exit out of this, now we can pick up our finished sign, which appears right here at the easel cabinet, and there's your completed sign, and you can have up to eight signs printed at a time. So let's say you have a sign already made and you want to copy it or make a new one in the same style, you can put it in the output slot and then scan the input and there's your sign and it's ready to edit. And then when you're done you can go back and get your original sign back. So let's go see what the sign actually looks like now that we've made it. So I'm back on my ship and uh, here's my sign and I put it up and it looks just like it did on Easel. So that's how you make your very own signs in Starbound in Spirited Draft. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at Op6RedLace.